All of us are going to attend a wedding at one point in our lives, okay? I want to fill you in on my tipping strategy. I think it's the greatest tipping strategy of all time when it comes to weddings. I call it Nick Spinelli's $50 tip system, okay? I'll explain how it works. First of all, it's $50 broken up into four parts, 20, 20, five, five, okay? So you got to have like all the change. And, and don't be a crumb and ask for change, by the way. Like, bring the change. Like, bring two 20s and two fives. Like, bring it with you. Don't bring a 50 or a 100 and be like, yo, can you break this? Don't be a, you're being a crumb, okay? Bring the change so you have it ready. But anyway, it's the 20, 20, five, five system. This is how it works. You, you're at the wedding. Ceremony ends. You go up to the bar during cocktail hour. You check out the bartenders, okay? Usually there's two of them. Sometimes there's more, depending on how big the wedding is. But usually at least two, okay? So you, you, you feel them out. You look at both bartenders like, okay, what do we got here? Now, if these were the two, this is a stock photo I got off the internet. But if these happen to be the two bartenders that I walked up on, I'd look at them both. Just from judging their looks, I would say that the guy looks like he's really scared to pour a strong drink. He looks like... He probably used one of those measuring devices, you know, those, what are they called, jiggers or whatever. Like, he probably, like, probably scared to pour a strong drink. Girl looks like she's more laid back, more like, hey, you know, have fun. You know, you only live once type thing, right? I think. I don't know. You actually, sometimes you can tell by looking at them. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you got to, like, go and talk to them and stuff. You always find out the first drink. So, I always go up and I pick the better of the two that I think would be the better of the two. What I personally like, you know, I'm ju from judging from looks, book, judging the book by its cover, what I think the better of the two is. I go up to them and, you know, I try to feel them out, see if they're cool, right? Just like, just see if they're cool. If they're super uptight, it's going to be tough. You know, you don't want an uptight bartender. If they're both uptight, you're screwed. Anyway, feel them out. Usually I guess it right and they're cool and I can start the $50 tip strategy. But if I do not, if I, you know, like guess wrong, go to the first one and I really don't like them, I kind of want to like get a drink from the other one, then it's basically going to cost you five bucks because you got to tip for that. So it's going to cost you an extra five dollars on top of the tipping strategy because, you know, you have to tip them five bucks for that one drink. You know, I'm not I'm not a fan of like tipping a dollar. I think like five bucks, you know, especially in today's America. Anyway, so whatever it costs you an extra five bucks, you figure out who your person is, right? Then you pick your person, your bartender for the night. So step one, okay? First drink, $20. Bam, okay? Go up to the bartender. They get my drink. I give them 20 bucks off the, off the rip. And I usually tell them, you're my guy or you're my girl, okay? For the night. You're my guy for the night. Now, bartenders will hear that and think, first of all, they'll see the 20 bucks like, thank you, right? Most people tip a dollar. So like 20 bucks is still, whoa, thank you. Now, they're going to hear you say like, oh, you're my guy. And they're, a lot of them will assume like, okay, this guy's tipping me $20 up front and I got to take care of him the rest of the night. Whatever. He'll be one of those. Let's see, tip 20 bucks. Most people I probably get like 8 to $10 out of. That's how I would think, right? So whatever. So they think that. But then you blow their minds with step two. Step two is the second drink. Another 20. Okay, now we're two 20s in a row. And you gotta like look them in the eye when you do it, by the way. Okay, make sure the tip counts. Don't just like slide, put it in the jar so they don't see it. Like, no, like even if there's a jar, you slap it on the table. Okay, you slap that tip on the table and you slide it up to them and be like, thanks again, right? Now you tipped them 40. Now all of a sudden they're like, holy shit, this guy's crazy, right? This guy is the man. Two drinks, $40. Is he tipping $20 every drink? I don't know. I could make a million dollars off this guy. This is crazy. Is he rich? Holy shit, what's his name? Let me Google him right? Now you got their attention. Now they're really your bartender, okay? So then the third drink, I do a $0 drink. The third drink, I kind of act like I'm in a hurry on purpose, right? Usually maybe like, you know, as soon as like we get into the reception hall right before intros, you're kind of in a hurry, right? You're just grabbing a drink before intros or something. I don't know, whatever it is. Third drink, I act like I'm in a hurry. Hey, can I get a tears of club? Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Right, right. They probably already know your drink by then, but whatever, you know? Yeah. Thanks, thanks. All right. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. And you leave. Kind of in a hurry. Zero dollar, zero dollar drink right there. Then, after everything's settled, formalities happen, everything, you go for your fourth drink, or whenever you go for your fourth drink, <laughs> then you tip five dollars. Now you're 45 in. Now at this point, the bartender's like, holy shit, man, this guy's still tipping, still tipping average, you know, more than the average bear. $45 in deep now, just with this one guy. He loves you. Okay. He or she loves you. 
Fifth drink, I hit him with the other five. Right now we're 50 in. We completed the full $50 tip system. Hit him with the last five. Doesn't know what to do with himself or herself, okay? They're losing their mind. Wow, he just keeps tipping every drink. Five, five, he gave me two 20s earlier. Now at this point, okay, you don't even... You, all you got to do is get in this person's peripherals, okay? And they're going to make your drink before you even come up. You don't even have to tell them anymore. You just come up with a glass, and before you even get to the bar, your drink's made, okay? Now you got the greatest experience at a wedding of all time. And then after that, you know, that's it. You're in the promised land. You're just in the promised land. That's what the promised land is. Your drink is ready for you before you even ask for it. In such situations, the bartender will even deliver you a drink to your table. When he sees that you're empty, he will keep your glass full the entire time. He will allow you to get wasted. <laughs> this is the, the proven system, people. I've only been to five weddings, but I've done it all five weddings and it works fantastically. You could steal it, okay? And for all of you that are like, you know, kind of uh, hearing me talk about this, like, Nick, you're, you're going to have like six drinks at a wedding or more? Like, what are you? It's because I'm a fantastic wedding guest, okay? If you're that up to, oh, six drinks, I always have a room or a shuttle or a ride. I'm not drinking and driving. I'm a good wedding guest, okay? I get tipsy. I dance my ass off. I enjoy myself. That's what you're supposed to do at a wedding, okay? If you're one of those people, you go to a wedding, you have one drink, and oh, I'm too good for two or three. That's ridiculous. I just like to have a, a mild time everywhere I go. Well, then that's you, okay? I like to have a good time. So don't judge me. All right, don't judge me for having a good time at a wedding. I, again, am a fantastic wedding guest. I'm, I'm planning a wedding. I don't know about you guys when you plan a wedding or if you plan a wedding in the future, but I want everybody drunk. I want everybody to let loose and have a great time, okay? Aunt Donna ain't really going to twerk on the dance floor unless she's four or five drinks deep. Drinking brings, bring, brings the fun out of you, okay? And that's why there's open bars in most weddings. So, of course, I'm going to have five, six drinks. Of course I am. I'd be a hypocrite if I went to a wedding and didn't party and, and enjoy myself. I just sat there like a loser, you know? Anyway, so that's my drink system. Feel free to steal it.